Hey guys, I have not done any of the subscription boxes to this point, but um, I had gotten a couple ads for bespoke boxes and looked at them. I like the fact that you didn't have to take anything. Um, you could change boxes. They gave you like a window of time. I think it's five days at the beginning of the month to change boxes if you didn't like the one that you were going to be sent. Um, and it's not that expensive. So I just got my first bespoke box. Let's take a look. What is this? Goods and Guidance for the Modern Man. So this is the box, the Frontier box. It comes with an Apinel knife, um, a pen, a pad, and I think a bottle opener or something. So let's see what we got here. I'll open up that in a second when I have more than one hand. Here is, it's called a North Books pad of paper. And it's just a notepad. Let me see, it's a, just a nice hardbound notepad. I'll definitely find a use for that. Maybe a Bible study or something. The rest of the stuff must be in here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So, this is a Koweko Sport. This is the, the pen. So this is the sticker this, and maybe the instructions the for the pen. No, this is the pen. So it is a... Come on, get out. It is a pen. And the cool thing about it is, you can see how, um, how short it is. When you um, unscrew it like that, Take it out. I'm doing this all one-handed. Are, are you guys impressed? And you put it in there. It makes for like a more normal size pen. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It had instructions. I'll figure that out in just a second. So that's the pen. Here's the knife. This is an Apinel pen. And actually, one of the reasons that I chose this Hold on, Apinel, I think that's how you say it, knife. And you can see it comes out like that and then the collar turns so I can fold it if it's like that. If I turn this like that, now it can't turn. It's now a fixed knife. Um, you see it says Apinel there, maybe. Tech. Come on, focus, focus. Anyway, it says Oppenel right there. I can't get it to focus. Um, but good, really good knives. I've heard lots of good things. In fact, my buddy Stefan, who was at the Pratt, um, who's part of the Pratt Pack, who's part of the Homestead Dad Group, who was at the camping for um, the Homestead Hoot Nanny, had one of these and really highly suggested these. So, um, yeah. So there's that. And then there's this, which I think is a bottle opener and I don't drink beer my wife does on occasion that's cool. um, oh, this is Dude, that looks like a chunky monkey of a bottle opener it just looks like it's a um, block of steel cut out to be a bottle opener and it's a line of trade you guys can see that so um, we will use this. We're always maybe I'll find some place to hang this because we're always looking for a bottle opener because we don't drink that often. So when we do, we don't have one handy. So I'll be using this for that. Let's see if I can figure out that pen quick. So I figured it out. Let me show you why it didn't work. By no fault of the pen, there's no ink in it. It actually comes with a package of ink and one already out. So I'm pretty sure. You just take this ink and pop it in there, and then you, yep, like that. There we go. It's on there. Put this back on. Now, I've never had a pen like this, so you should see how this works. Okay, so now I have a pen. Let's see if I can write with it. So, let's see.
Let's turn it around. Jeff, the Homestead Dad. Uh, the pen actually writes really nicely. I'm thinking I'm going to like it. Maybe I'll use it in conjunction with this notepad and uh, take notes on the Bible or a Bible study or something like that. So, box. Pretty pleased. Um, I like this knife. I like the pen. The notebook's good. Um, I think the box was like $40. So, we will see if it's a good deal or if I could get similar stuff, you know, the cost that I want. Also, by the way, I need to lock that so that when I'm not using it, it can't open up. See, if I lock it like that, now it can't open. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. Um, but so far, the knife, the book, the ink for the pen, the pen itself, the bottle opener, and this bespoke bag, which don't overlook. You could use that for something. Uh, so far, so good. So. Let me know if you guys have done Bespoke, what you guys think of it, uh, if you've continued doing it, uh, or if you've ended up stopping, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.